Liam was a donor before we had presumed consent. He did give, he gave blood until he came out. Um, and so this was something that was very, very important to him. When 26-year-old Liam D was diagnosed with a rare cancer, he was grateful to hear that his tissues could still go to people in need. However, it was a gut punch to his family to learn his tissues were rejected when he died last November. The hospice nurse called the tissue bank to ask them, um, or to uh, yeah, to let them know that they had a potential donor. And then questions were asked, and from there, um, his body was denied because of, it says on the form, homosexual status. A recent graduate, Liam was beginning his career as a registered nurse alongside his new husband when diagnosed with cancer. What followed was the beginning of a fight for policy change by his loved ones in his honor. It just felt l like discrimination to me. It is discrimination. And so uh, a few days after I contacted um, Nova Scotia Health. Nova Scotia Health tells Global News standards must be conservative to maintain highest possible safety thresholds. However, the current standard excluding donors solely based on gender-based language requires examination by national regulators. As there are no Canadian accreditation programs for tissue donation and transplant, the Regional Tissue Bank is accredited with the American Association of Tissue Banks. This means in Canada, screen guidelines when determining donor eligibility come from the states. Effectiveness of screening blood and tissue is wonderful. It's great. We are so effective at this. Um, there's no reason to turn away donors when the screening processes work. People lost out um, from Liam's gift because of his sexual orientation. Megan King, Global News, Halifax.